Welcome to the Panther Pride News. This is the final edition for 8th grade. We will have more on that at the end. Hi, my name is Emily. And my name is Brayden. We will have a lot of news, so let's get into it. Friday, May 19th, the day started with Spirit Day activities. The student council members conducted the games. At the end of the morning, the white team ended up winning. In the afternoon, we had the annual talent show. There were 27 acts. A full highlight video will be released soon. Hi, my name is Jasmine. And my name is Sean. And now for some more news. On Wednesday, May 24th, the choir went to Raymore and Flanagan and performed. The school has not performed at Raymore and Flanagan since COVID. We were very happy to be invited back. Let's go to Leah for a report. Here at the Raymore and Flanagan outlet, the choir will be forming very soon. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you, what more are you looking for? Under the sea. Did you like that? That was pretty great, wasn't it? Thanks, Leah. That sounded great. Now for the CY report. The girls' softball team finished their season in the first round of the playoffs. Great job, girls. On the other end of the spectrum, the JV baseball team. Pardon this interruption, but we have a CYO update. The JV baseball team won last week 8-4 to four, and will now play in the championship game on Thursday, June 1st. Now back to Sean. Finally, congratulations to Liam, the 7th grader, for qualifying for the city champs in 100 meter high jump and long jump. Good luck, Liam. In one week, we'll all be graduating. These are our thoughts on our years of BVM. BVM throughout the years has grown to be sort of a second home for me. I have attended here for eight years and have experienced many different teachers throughout the years. I'd have to thank all the teachers who've helped me along the way, and especially for Mrs. Z and Father Quinter for teaching me not only the importance of school, but the importance of our Catholic faith. Finally, I'd have to thank my parents for providing for me and giving me the opportunity to go to this great school. Now, I soon, I may miss it here, but it doesn't matter because I know I'll have a lot more fun at my new high school, Holy Ghost. It's absolutely unbelievable that we're graduating so soon. I don't think I would have even imagined doing half of the things that I've accomplished here, let alone being elected student council vice president. BVM has grown so familiar to me that I can't really imagine having to adjust to any other environment but at the same time, I can't wait to move on to high school at Central. I would like to thank everyone, my parents for putting me in such a great school, and of course my teachers and Mrs. Z for teaching me throughout these 10 years. I have done so many things here that will most definitely impact my life in the future. But let's not forget all the great memories we've made here, whether it's me getting my chair taken away for somehow falling out of it, or Lachlan spilling his water on himself as he fell out of his chair, then Nikki saying, Lachlan, are you okay? As he continuously poured water on him. I'm going to miss BVM, of course, but I'm sure they've prepared me well for my life in high school at LaSalle. Since this is my last Panther Pride News ever, I would first like to thank all the teachers and Mrs. Z for teaching me throughout the past nine years. I would also like to thank my parents for putting me into this great school. Throughout my years at BVM, I have had a lot of great memories such as getting to wreck the haunted house, the field trip to the aquarium, 7th grade media club, and getting elected as student council president. I'll miss it here, but I'm very happy to move on to Little Flower. Thank you for watching the Panther Pride News.
for the last time, Go Panthers!